War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world, but war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Fallout 3. For those of you who do not know, Fallout is a open world Let's survival post-apocalyptic uh, video game series where pretty much you go up against the wilderness as well as other people. And pretty much you can be a good natured person, you can be a bad natured person, or you can be a neutral natured person. And pretty much with that being said, I'm gonna just kick this off and start playing. I'm hoping you guys can kick back and enjoy the ride with me. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. Our beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. It's pretty much just going to be your daddy, game little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about? That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're just James? A... Catherine? James? Catherine! She's in James. cardiac arrest. Start compressions. James. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay. You. We need a doctor, not a dead Fail to meet my expectations no. and there will be talking. Don't look straight James into the light, pal. Don't hurt your eyes. It's just something you could use to down here. Just like her. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. 
There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Sorry, Papa, but I really want to read my book. It's my favorite book. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pen you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Amada. These experiments are their damage. The experiment to prepare. Prepare Of course I miss her. Surprise! 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 Stanley, you turned the lights Surprise. on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your mother... Congratulations, mother young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your Thanks party. Man. You're only ten once, so have fun. You Happy birthday! Pop. We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You didn't fool me, I just pretended not you're to such know. a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? You get me? A date with Christine Kendall? Gross! I didn't think you even liked girls. And you know what I mean, before you say something rude about me. I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who likes Grognak the Barbarian better than me and Christine. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> Bingo night. Happy birthday! Yo, Wednesday night's bingo night? Hey, uh, thanks well, for inviting me. Wednesday. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. To bully what, me? are you two best friends? I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Snell, hey! Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Well, I'm eating that straight away. I mean, I'm right now. Oh, so yes. This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons. Party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? 
and we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Yeah, I remember that. Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Oh, man. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Okay. Who do you mean, dork face Andy, here? Wait! Happy birthday, dork Nice face. party, buddy. <laughs> now get lost before I have to make you fuck. Nice eyes, you bug-eyed boy. Look at me oh, making fun no. of my birthday party with eyes that look across the sides of each up. side of the dome. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Bro, use those bug eyes and find your own sweet roll. Mmm, it sure was good when I ate it a few minutes ago. You what? Dang, I love those sweet rolls old lady Palmer makes. You will just stay out of my way, you got it? Cake and his hand. <laughs> Simply <laughs> mortified. Having a good time. How do you like that, Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? It's all right. Seems kind of old, though. Of course it is. Just like everybody else's. They don't make them anymore now, do they? That one I've been saving just for you, though. The A series is a bit heavier than some of the fancier models, but it won't let you down. I bet you could drop a bomb on one, and it would still work. As a matter of fact, I know you could. Thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. I'm... It wasn't easy. I can't believe your are Isn't this great? Already. Your mother would have been yes. proud of you, son. Happy birthday! Now go on, and enjoy your party. Yes, father. What'd Butch want? I thought you were in trouble there for a second. Don't worry about me, I'm not scared of I him. know. He thinks he's so tough. One of these days, we'll figure out a way to get him back, okay? Nice pit boy. What is that? One of the 3000A models? What Thanks piece of coming, junk? Come on, Wally. I could get to wind it up as you want. Everything's fine, Jeez, I hope. Wally, who's that Why are you still hanging no around? No way! No way! And Andy got around. 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 It's gotta be all around. around. You can fix it. Thanks. I'll send him right down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Who wants to go around all day people. being called a vocaloid? Sometimes I think you really... Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. I'm not a girl, I'm not a five, so stop calling me dearie. Of course you're not five. <laughs> you're a big ten-year-old man now, aren't you? With your very own pip boy And do you know what I did? Just for the occasion, wrote you a poem. I hope you like it. From what I remember, your poem is very depressing. Uh, thanks, I guess. Did you get me anything else? Don't be silly. One poem per birthday. That's my rule. <laughs> if I gave you two, think how jealous Butch would be. <laughs> Screw Butch. You must have a lot of poems. I mean, we, you probably don't have a lot of time to do anything else. Except for make poems. Yo, what's up? What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Oh man, but Dad told me it was okay to come down here. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Listen, now that you're ten, you don't have to take guff like that from grown-ups anymore. Got it? <laughs> Hold on one more minute. I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. I think I get what you're saying. Are you ready for your surprise? I don't like surprises. Since when? Regardless, I think you'll like this one. You're getting older, and you've got your pit boy I figure you're old enough for this, too. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Hell yeah. Yeah. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Oh, Jonas. Remember how you were bullying me? Hey, shoot at the targets, okay? That's not a toy. I'm Careful shooting at the targets. Sport. You know what? You can have some uh, What in God's name is wrong with you? <laughs> Stop screwing around. Sorry, Dad. I'm sorry.
careful, it's a rat. Right. You can take. Careful. Damn, why would this Be thing die? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Are you proud of me, Dad? Good work. That's one less rat roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me Ow. with a big game hunter. Yo, take this picture. <laughs> Do I have to look forward for it? Smile! I'm smiling. Different parts. So now we're 16. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. Now get out of here, and good luck. Hey, Jonah, remember that stuff you were saying to Good me morning. About six years ago? Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Don't take stuff from old people anymore. Watch Wait, where you're swinging at, will you? I've had enough of you bullying me. Hey, cut it out. Show you a real Ow! Snake, God, Butch, why don't you just leave me alone? Yo, what's up, Yeah, bitch? what do you want? Hey, you fixed your eyes. Tunnel snakes, you some kind of gang, is that it? Only the baddest gang in Vault 101. Like you don't know. We rule this vault, and what we say goes. Pretty sure you're the You'll stay guy. out of our way if you know what's good for you. What's going on here? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? If you keep messing with her, the overseer is gonna come down on your game. Maybe you're right. We can deal with her later. She Back thinks, on. come on, Better. tunnel snakes. Yeah, this little bitch isn't worth oh, our time. God, that's over. Whatever you say, Butch. I don't do the push sort of Tunnel snakes rule. Be don't man. mess Let's with go. the tunnel snakes. I'll remember that. Hey, Susie, what's new? Oh, no. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. How much? Yeah. Our Let's heater's see. on the fritz again. Yeah. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Oh, I'm feeling kind of sick, Mr. B. I'm sure already I'm ace. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Oh man. Butch, get up. Get up, Butch, and go and find a seat. Please. I want the front seat. Get out of my face. Bro, I'm gonna beat your ass once. I'll do it again. What are you well, staring at? That everyone has managed to find the classroom. The we can finally get started. No talking. And keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> you hear that? Yes, I'm talking to get you, out of Mr. Deloria. Face. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? But doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic dist... Uh, yeah, I'll be yours too, buddy. Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Well, I'm not a doctor, so, uh... Scream for help. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I'm giving the boy a hug and telling him everything will be okay. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? I want to be the catcher. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Damn, Grandma. 
Obviously, I'm obeying my grandmother, but I'm asking her for a minigun instead. After all, I don't want to miss. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? This guy looks like trouble anyway. I'm walking away and letting him run. Question seven. Oh no. You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Prayer. Maybe God will exchange you in exchange. I'm removing it with the laser. Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Slip some knockout drops into the resident's nuclear collar and take the comic book when he's unconscious. Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Oh, I love pranks, so I'm definitely breaking into his locked medicine cabinet and replacing his high blood pressure medication with sugar pills. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. I think it'd be the Overseer. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. Can I go you can have the rest now? of the day off to celebrate or to pray as a situation. Wow. Wow. It says here you're going to be the vault's marriage counselor. Almost makes me want to get married just to be able to avail myself of your services. A marriage counselor? Whatever, I just answered randomly. Is that how you got stuck with your job? Ha. Closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously, and look where I ended up. Just between you and me. The whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And let's go to repair. Thanks, Mr. Broch. I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. I'll always forget how bright the transition was. Right Three years later, so now we're 19 years old. Selfish and insubordinate. Wake up! Come on, wake up! Damn. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! How weird, Amato. I was just dreaming about you. Don't be a smart mouth! This is serious! My father's men are looking for you. They've already killed Jonas. You've got to get out of here. If your father killed Jonas, I'm going to make him pay. You don't understand. It's your dad. He's left the vault. They think Jonas helped him. And they think you're part of it. You know how paranoid my father is anyway. This has pushed him right over the edge. You can worry about revenge later. Right now, you've got to get away before security gets here. I need to escape the vault and you're going to help me. That's exactly what I had in mind. Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. What makes you think this sounds like a plan? Let's get oh, it Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. No, you keep it. You may need it more than I do. Thanks, a model. I'll use it okay, as well. I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. All Good right. luck. I'll see you. I promise you. I won't use I'll the meet pistol. you at the vault door if I can. Then, but don't wait for me. Don't worry. I wasn't planning to wait for you. <laughs> I'm going to find my dad. There he is. Hold it right there. No. Crime any more roaches. <laughs> God, I oh, hate so these I'm things. This on hard mode. Hold it right there. The overseer won't tolerate this kind of behavior. Right. Uh. You know what? I wasn't gonna have to do this. I promised him what, but you're annoying. Ow. Uh. Uh. 
Ah! I didn't want to have to do that. You sort of forced me. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Come on, let's see if we can go and help her. What you believe? No, I can't alone? go back in there. It's it's dark. And there's rad roaches. Don't worry, Butch. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? No, I mean, it's not the dark. It's the rad roaches. I I can't stand them. I tried to get back in together. I really did. But I couldn't. You gotta help me. She's not gonna last much longer in there. Can't you hear her screaming? Didn't you used to hear me scream when you bullied me? You're big, dear little. Just go back in there and squash her. No! No, I'm not going back in there! Right, I can't! Right. I'll do it. Fine, I'll save you money. Oh my god! Thank you! I didn't know what to do! You're the best! <laughs> Remember that time, like, six years ago when What's I knocked you out? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I think I just dunked his mother on the head. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey! I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. No way. Uh, no way. I'm on it. I'm going to put it on straight away. I'm never going to take it off. And I'm never going to wash it. I've always wanted to be a part of the Tunnel Snakes. Ah! Oh! You know, I never actually found out who Grandma Taylor is. It's just a random old lady. That doesn't matter now. We've got business. Off with you now. Coming through, coming through. Just gotta quickly come in. Just got some stuff we gotta quickly do. Yeah. Never mind. Could be back any moment, I Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. As far as I'm concerned, I'm just going to say thanks, Officer Gomez. Always it's like a real you. shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. Officer Mack. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. I'll remember to keep that in mind. Come on, Officer Mack. We should just go back to our quarters. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop. Oh, the right name of the overseer. Oh, oh. Your family will be gonna pay us all. My oh. father oh. didn't betray anyone. Oh. My father left for a good reason. I don't know why, but it's gotta be for a good reason. Yeah! Oh. the noise you made when you just fainted but it's in the flashlight on you this is your fault you and your stupid father he had to go and leave didn't he he had to mess things up for everybody hey shut up my father's not stupid the dark stupid kid is over here. He's trying to leave the ball. Don't let oh, him yo. Get away. Call him the security guards for me. I'm gonna take your jumpsuit. I'm gonna take what do I need. Oh! Oh! Alright, let's continue. I told you, I don't know what. Oh, right. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Uh, what? The overseer won't tolerate this kind of behavior. You obviously won't tolerate this oh. behavior. What behavior? I can't hear what you're saying. He's my friend. I was worried about him. Gotcha now. Oh, look who it is, Officer Mac. You can't be that bad. Sorry you had to see that, Amada. I really should have probably waited till she left the room. I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. Hell no. Just give me the keys to your office and your password, then I'll be going. 
Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You'll get nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. I can work with that. No matter, trust me, if you don't give me what I want, I'll hit it bad. My god, you're a cold-blooded little shit, aren't you? I think you'd actually do it. Here, take them and leave the vault. I'll have you shot on sight if you ever come back. Not if I shoot first. Alright, have a fantastic rest of your day, Mr. Overseer. Bye. Join us. Oh god, I'm taking a life cut. It's a memory. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. We don't want the financial clip. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, G go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. Father, I'm coming. Thank you! Come and find I me. told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. Look, you woke me up during my sleep. And now I'm, I've just killed a whole bunch of people. Today has been a great day. I'm not going to bother with all the roaches, I'm just going to quickly run past them. This is it. We're almost gone. Opening the vault door. Get the overseer. We need this door open now. Um, you did it. You opened the door. My God, I almost didn't believe it was possible. Yeah, when I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. <laughs> You're right. I should have never doubted you. Why didn't you come with me? Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, for you know Jonas and and my father and everything. Goodbye. Pretty sure I just skipped the dialogue. Gotcha. No. Oh, 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 Should have tried to run. Yeah, yeah. Look, oh. I've got a gun. Oh. And you guys have oh. a gun. Oh. Damn. Oh. Actually, looking like you guys. Oh. Oh. You forced me to do this. I didn't want to have to kill you guys. Oh god, I'm never coming back here again. Oh god. Alright, and with that, I'm gonna end this very first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have an opinion on what you want me to change, or if you guys want me to go a certain direction, just leave it in the comments and. See what we can get into. Appreciate all of your support.